In this video, we will teach you how to properly cut and engrave paper and cardboard on a CO2 laser machine. Hello, this is Verma. Subscribe to our channel so you do not miss useful videos. Paper and almost all types of cardboard can be easily cut with a CO2 laser machine. Being the main work material for cards, envelopes, gift boxes, models and decorative items, cardboard is the most important material for any party or advertising industry. It's also used for children's books, stencils, connects, etc. There are advantages and disadvantages to producing cardboard products using CO2 laser machines. Let us talk about them in more detail. Advantages of a CO2 laser machine Using a CO2 laser machine, you can get highly detailed products with a fine pattern. A laser machine can provide cutting accuracy inaccessible to a plotter or cutter. The laser machine is exceptionally versatile. Large cardboard manufacturers, for example, always have a laser machine to make a prototype or sample of a future product. If something is not satisfactory in the first sample, several prototypes can be made. Because with a laser machine, it's easy to change the parameters of a future product or its parts before starting large production. A further advantage is the engraving capability. Unlike cardboard cutting machines, CO2 laser machines can not only cut but also engrave. With laser engraving, you get a unique product unlike any other. Possibility to cut multiple layers of paper. Cutting multiple layers considerably increases the volume of output. Relatively low cost of the CO2 laser machine compared to other cutting methods. Very low cost of consumables. Now onto the disadvantages of the CO2 laser machine when working with paper and cardboard. Disadvantages of a CO2 laser machine. The production volume is relatively low. The mass production of cardboard products uses machines that can produce a large number of boxes per second, while the CO2 laser machine is designed for complex products, which take longer to produce. When working with a laser machine, you must carefully observe safety precautions. Although this is a must for all machines, with CO2 laser machines it is also necessary to monitor the air blowing. The operator must always monitor the cutting process because there is a risk of ignition in areas where the laser is slowing down, i.e. at the corners. Let us talk about the specifics of laser cutting cardboard and paper. Features of cutting cardboard and paper. Different types of cardboard are used for cutting and engraving. Fitting cardboard, book board, decorative cardboard, corrugated cardboard, packaging cardboard, foam board, etc. On the one hand, any laser can cut such thin and soft material. On the other hand, paper and cardboard are highly inflammable and laser cutting is high temperature. In other words, cardboard and paper cut easily and quickly, with a few exceptions. In order to cut the paper, it is necessary to find the balance between the minimum power required and the maximum speed. Try to choose settings such that the machine moves at the limit without cutting through the sheet so that the residual power of the laser tube is not reflected on the back of the paper or cardboard. This also applies to other materials. For example, using an 80 watt laser tube, you will be cutting a standard sheet of paper at a minimum power of 10% or 8 watts. On Watson CO2 laser machines, starting with the 6090, you can reduce the minimum power to 4 watts. How to do this? To get the minimum power, use the potentiometer. This allows you to manually fine-tune the power during operation. This is especially handy during engraving. Did you know that the lower the power of the laser tube during operation, the longer it lasts? Usually, our customers who cut fabric, paper and fur or engrave on stone replace laser tubes less often as their laser tubes last much longer than the claimed 10,000 hours. When cutting products with sharp corners, the laser slows down. Be sure to set the minimum and maximum power in the settings before starting cutting. Cutting cardboard is somewhat complicated by its multi-layered nature. The more corrugated the cardboard, the more likely it is not to cut through. This is because when the top layer of the cardboard is cut through, the beam is scattered and the lower part of the sheet is hit by the scattered beam. In addition, if the corrugation is too high, the air blowing is less efficient, which increases the likelihood of fire. At the same time, the power of the laser tube practically does not affect the thickness of the cut, as is the case with hard materials. If you plan to cut cardboard on a laser machine, ask our managers for a video of cutting the thickness of cardboard you need, and we will be happy to help you. 
In terms of cutting difficulty, cardboard up to 5 mm is between plywood and paper, easier than plywood and more difficult than paper. If you're interested in how to cut plywood, check out the detailed video on our channel. When cutting paper and cardboard, high air pressure is not necessary and is sometimes even contraindicated because the material can fly away due to the airflow. Remember to use extraction and cooling systems and do not leave the laser machine unattended when in operation. You can learn more about how to choose a laser machine for your tasks on our YouTube channel. Post questions about CNC machines in the comments. Our engineers love to answer them. This is Verma. Give the video a like if it was useful and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.